besides the uh, cursing and sex thing. This might be my dad's nightmare because when I was a kid, I'm not a singer, but for some reason God just keeps giving me melodies in my poems. Uh, my dad used to be like, the rule of the house is she does not sing. And if I do sing, it was in the basement and they were on the top. Right, Ed? Who's singing now? <laughs> mentioned about my pick of Nella Hopkinson for um, Canada Reads. And to be honest, uh, I didn't think it would win, but I really wanted to open that discussion about what is Canada, what is a Canadian writer, what makes it a Canadian story, and I really wanted people to know who Nella was. So uh, they had commissioned me to write this, and I called it for Nella. <clears throat> There's a brown girl in the ring, tra-la-la-la. There's a brown girl in the ring, tra-la-la-la. There's a brown girl in the ring, tra-la-la-la. And she looks like a sugar and a plum, plum, plum. Show me your motion, show me your emotions. But if you color them too loud, they might not fit this crowd. And as to the exact size of the ring that you're in, does it fit inside Regent Park? Does it keep you in Jane and Finch? Does it fit inside Jamaica? Are you Jamaican? Look, I went on holiday and now I'm blacker than Tom. Do you know Bob Marley? Does your story ring true? And is the ring of your story lined only with guilt-free Canadian diamonds? Or are you one of those lucky brown girls whose story is the whole wide world? And whose culture is what she says it is? I am also a brown girl in the ring, and I too sing North America. I do still know my heritage, and never mind about my accent. <laughs> Who are you to tell me that my stories ain't Canadian? I am a ketchup chip patriot, a craft dinner baby. When American music took over and made radio go crazy, I remember that it only took five days in May for Blue Rodeo to save me. Somewhere in between Degrassi High and trying to find that damn pokeroo, I went to a, remember that? <laughs> And then you started getting mad at like Jeff and Tommy, like, are you stupid? He's right there. <laughs> I went to a predominantly Portuguese school, and when the home bell rang, we ate African food in Chinatown with greedy Mendy painted hands, while my Scottish friend Hagen promised to make me a friendship band if I taught him how to stoops, stoops, How much more Canadian can I be? My mom still calls me. Mon petit fille. But the scent of an overripe mango can still take me away. And what they call a June plum in Chinatown, to me is still a diam pom cité. And don't my Canada taste sweeter that way? Spent my summers in PEI. I went as a girl but left with a crush on a bai. I. <laughs> They actually talk a lot like West Indians. Tree hugger, <laughs> tree. I was like, I get you. <laughs> I'm a CTHE though, oh my gosh. Um, I morenita my way through each chow bella day, and I sometimes a boot, but I don't always a. And ain't my story still so Canada? Anyway. <laughs> 